Look, it's, it's an honor to be here. Looking out at this group is unbelievable. The hearing will come to order. I have never complied with a court order in my entire life. This morning's hearing will consider an important and growing component of our nation's criminal justice system. <laughs> I was homeless, penniless, toothless. My mom and me have a very special mom. I desperately needed help. When I was little, it was very hard for me, for me to be away from her. Drank, smoked. Methamphetamine. <laughs> Stick a needle in my arm. Snorted. Or a pipe in my mouth. She couldn't take care of me because she was on drugs. A constant downward spiral. It was on her last chance in life. Hopelessly addicted to anything and everything. And all the drugs were going to kill her. So I was alone. I had nothing. No soldier left behind is a code which Americans have always been proud to live by. Panic. Sleeplessness. I was also severed from the Marine Corps. We do not desert our soldiers on the battlefield. Shouldn't this also be true on the home front? I remember constantly thinking I was not supposed to come home. Henry David Thoreau once said, the true price of anything is the amount of life you must exchange for it. The true price of anything is the amount of life you must exchange for it. We are spending down our lives every day. Spend yours wisely. Spend it saving lives, saving families and making drug courts work. Thank you. The compassion and the expertise of the judge uh, with American justice as it was supposed to work. Drug court changed my life. The things that I learned in drug court have turned out to be of value on a day-to-day -day basis. When I was in it, it was very hard, and I was not a huge fan. I struggled three, almost four years to get through it. They gave me structure when I had none. They do put you through an intensive program. It's a wonderful family and lifelong friends. I wanted their respect, and so I worked really hard to gain it. Senator Klobuchar. Right on target. Senator Hoven. Right on target. Senator, Senator Pryor. My dad is a Republican. Thad Cochran. And I'm a Democrat. Claire McCaskill. Bipartisan support. I'm humbled and proud to be part of this organization that's doing so much for our United States. All of you drug court professionals are doing God's work here on earth each and every day, and I salute you. There is no other program that has equivalent evidence of, su of success than drug courts. We're back. Uh, drug courts now, though, have been used as an alternative to the criminal justice system for nonviolent offenders since 1989, but supporters say we need more of them. them Earlier, prison. I spoke with actor Martin Sheen, a big advocate for drug courts. Imagine the impact of 1.2 million people making up for lost time in their community and serving their families and their country. This is the purpose of drug courts. It's all because of you that I'm not dead that I'm not in prison and that I have amazing friends and that I actually have a life again. My gratitude for drug court is inexpressible. One of the major policies I'm getting to pursue this year is the expansion of drug courts in New Jersey. Uh, after graduation of drug court, I immediately re-enrolled in school. I'm a homeowner. I have gotten married to an incredible man. Graduated law school. Today I am CRADC counselor. I'm getting my degree. I am an assistant state's attorney. Also coaching football. And I will give back to others what has been given to me. Would not be standing here in front of and you. And my heart is so full of gratitude. Thank you so much, drug court. <sighs> Today my life is totally different. I haven't had to live away from my mom for a very long time. She doesn't forget to pick me up or miss out on my life. She comes to everything for me and supports me in everything I do. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so proud of my mom and I love her so, so much. Thank you Drug Court for helping my family. It's the personnel, it's the prosecutors, it's the probation officers. John Gerardos and the NADCB board. Melanie Vaughn. Judge DeShazer. Judge John Smith. Judge Christine Carpenter. Quinn Gomkashamadol. Judge Stanley Goldstein. Quinn Dinwid Mogaduck. 
Now we're at 2,600. We'll soon be at 3,000. Good leadership counts. We'll see you in Nashville next year.